What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I am going to show you how to create a safe zone. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so actually some videos ago, I made a how to make a danger zone video, so if you want to check that out, I will link in the description. And this time it is the opposite, right? A safe zone. So we will display this message when we enter in the safe zone. So let's begin by making the zone itself. So let's go to the content browser, just right click, create a new blueprint class, and let's you know, select an actor as we will place it in our world. Let's name this something as bp underscore safe zone, and let's open this up so the first thing that we will add to this safe zone will be basically a collision and this will be a box collision and we'll name this our trigger so as soon as our player enters inside of this trigger we will activate the safe zone so make sure to go down under collision settings in the trigger and make sure that it's set as overlap all dynamics so our player can go through it but we will trigger it and with that said we are good to go another thing i'm going to make sure is to go here just for testing and disable hidden in game that way we can still see the box when we play the game just to kind of see you know and debug and test and all that good stuff and then what we're going to do is go down and you can see that we have an on component begin overlap we're going to go ahead and add this event delete the other existing ones and basically when something enters in this trigger we will trigger this so we need to make sure that it is our player so let's get the other actor and do a hashtag node in this case it will be something as player but of course now we need to add this tag into our player so let's go into the third person folder blueprints open up the third person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using go to class defaults search any tags for tag and then go ahead and open this up and search for well not search for but just type player and there we go so now the third person character blueprint has the player tag and now it will detect it here when it goes inside of this trigger and now what we need to do is of course drag from here do a branch and right after that what we will do is do a print string over here and then we can go ahead and just put uh, entering uh, safe zone right basically it's pretty much the same logic that i used in my you know danger zone video all right so now let's go ahead and just drag this safe zone into our level lock this skill put it to maybe something as you know 10 okay uh, make it a bit higher press play we have this safe zone enter and boom entering safe zone as you can see the top left of the screen so that's going ahead and working so now let's go ahead and create a ui widget that will basically appear so for this let's right click go to user interface create the widget blueprint select user widget and let's name this something as that will be underscore safe zone let's open this widget up and the first thing that we will do is go to palette add a canvas panel to our screen and then we just go ahead and drag the text over here then in the anchors we'll place it at the um, center top right and then we're gonna go ahead and just put something as entering a safe area right or safe zone what tell you prefer to name it and then let's go ahead and center the justification and then on size x and y we will go ahead and just make it bigger and then on the font we'll go ahead and put it to me like um uh, i don't know 40 something like that and then with that said we're good to go so we're gonna go ahead and you set the anchors uh sorry we already set the anchors uh the position x and y to be here right zero zero and then the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5 and that way it is exactly at the center and the only thing we need to do is get a position y and drop it a bit so right now it will be here kind of this you know top part now with the text already in place we can go ahead and just create the widget and we will make all the animation and so on later on so let's go to the bp save zone just go right after we print actually we can remove the print we can directly just create the widget so let's call the create widget uh, node and select the class which will be that will be safe zone then the return value we just need to go ahead and get it and add it to the viewport okay so we'll be added to the player screen and now if i go and press play go through here we can see the text at the top but of course when we exit we still see the text so let's go ahead and do all this so let's go to the uh save zone widget and create a new animation right this will be something as uh enter all right enter there we go so let's go ahead and select the text add it with the track and then just go and do a nice uh, fade in and fade out so 
where we just get the font um, color and opacity, sorry, set it at the beginning to be zero, and then just add a keyframe. Then maybe 1.5 seconds later, it will put it to one, add a keyframe. And now we have this nice transition of entering safe zone smoothly with a little time. Good, and now we'll do exactly the same, but the opposite. So we'll create another animation, which will be basically exit, go and select the track here, and then it will just put the first keyframe at one, and at 1.5, it will set this to be at zero, and then add a keyframe. And now with that said, there we go, it, you know, disappears. <coughs> cool, so now the only thing we need to do is go ahead and make sure that by default, yeah, it is set to zero, so it's not visible. And then on the graph, delete all this and create two custom events. The first custom event will be enter, and sorry, we're gonna name it the same as the animation, so enter animation, and we'll just get the enter animation, and just say play animation. And with that said, it will just play the enter animation. And then we'll go ahead and just create another custom event, which will be exit and go exit animation. And then we'll just go ahead and get the exit uh, animation component itself and do a play animation node. And with that said, we are good to go. We can now save, close, go to safe zone. And right after we add it to the viewport, we can just do a play enter animation all right so now we need to do exactly the same but when we exit so let's go to trigger go down to the you know events and on the end overlap we'll do exactly the same for the condition of check and if it's the player so just copy and paste it remember to plug in the other actor and then with that said what we can do is go ahead and just get this widget and just do an is valid so we will only with the second one so we only continue if this widget exists okay so we can avoid errors just in case and then we will just go ahead and just get this do a um what was it exit animation and then after a bit of delay we can go ahead and delete it in this case i think it was what 1.5 we said it uh, yes 1.5 so put this at 1.5 and we will once again check if it's valid, just in case, because we'll, we're leaving time in between. And then we can just get it and do a remove from parent. And this will basically completely remove the widget. And now with that said, we're good to go. We can go inside, boom, entering safe zone, appears with this animation. And then when we exit, we exit with this fade out. And we can go ahead and go in again and exit once again and once you're inside you can maybe activate a boolean here and you can do things as recover health and all that stuff so that's it guys who found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unbeaten to five videos and tutorials so check them out remember you have full access to the project files through patreon or youtube members uh, follow me on my socials join my discord server and now yes we lost it bye bye